You know, I think it's about time we drag this guy out in front of the camera again. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, yeah, we're going to be revisiting the Nintendo Wii for a bit and we're going to be doing something that you probably never thought you would see. Running Space Cadet Pinball. Yeah, the Windows Pinball game on this console. It's possible now thanks to the work of a few developers. First off, the guy who took the effort to decompile the Space Cadet Pinball executable that was on Windows, it's been decompiled now and that's resulted in a ton of ports of the game being released for various game consoles and operating systems. We're talking the PS Vita, the Nintendo Switch, the 3DS, obviously the Wii, and even Amiga OS 4, which I probably should do a video on at some point. Yeah, all of those systems can now run this game, which I think is really, really awesome. The best part of this whole thing is it is incredibly easy to do, at least on the Wii side of things here, thanks to the Open Shop channel, which I did a video on here back in 2020, because they already already have this app hosted. All you have to do is open up the homebrew browser, download it, and you're good to go. Aside from copying over some files that you'll need from an original install of the game, which we'll be kind of diving into a little bit later on in this video. You could also go through the process of compiling this yourself if you want to do that. There is a guide on the GitHub page, which I'll have linked down below. But just for the sake of this video, we're going to take this simpler route today. And without any further ado, let's just get started with it. All right, so we're here on the Nintendo Wii, and of course, the first thing we want to do is make sure our console's connected to the internet, which it is, and then we're just going to launch the Homebrew channel. Now, I already have the Homebrew browser, or the Open Shop channel, whatever you want to call it, installed, and I'd recommend viewing my tutorial video if you don't know how to get this installed, but oh, look at that, I don't have my SD card in here, let me get that really quick. Yeah, that's more like it. So we're going to launch the Homebrew browser here, and... Like I said, it's already in here, so you just literally have to go in and download it, and it's just really cool, to be honest, that this is even possible now. I mean, I think it's great that there's this much of a dedicated community around this console still, even in 2022, to where people are making ports of, uh, of, of games like this. So, you just scroll down and see, look at all these, like, there's been a ton of stuff added in here since I came in here last. I mean, you got all sorts of stuff. Flap Wee Bird? Oh my gosh. Oh man, I might have to try out some of this stuff. Yachts Wii, Wii X-Ball, Wii Space. All right, let's just, before I, uh, before I get too sidetracked, let's jump up here and download 3D Pinball Space Cadet. So here it is, got that same familiar banner there. Now, you'll see right here under important, it says to play this game, you will need to obtain the assets for this game in order to play it. That is referring to the files in the pinball folder on a Windows XP installation, for example. You could also grab the copy from 95 plus. I mean, that would work totally fine too. We're just gonna use the XP files in this instance. So we've got that downloaded and we'll go back to the loader here. So because I'm using Windows XP to get these files, we're gonna open up the Windows Explorer, go to the C drive, program files, Windows NT, pinball, and then copy all of these files. And since I'm in a VM, I would copy them to my host computer like I have done right here. So here's all those same files. Now what I can do is grab my SD card here, I've got this plugged in, and we're going to go into the apps folder, we're going to go into the newly created Space Cadet Pinball folder, and in this data folder right here, you see this text document called put assets here, this is where you want to put all of those files, we'll just delete this because we don't need it, and then we're going to go over here, just do a control A, and we'll just drag them onto the SD card, and it's as simple as that. Now, the reason why that they don't just include these files is to just avoid issues with Microsoft, which makes total sense, of course. I mean, we don't want a homebrew project getting shut down because of copyright issues or whatever. So, yeah, that's why that they do not provide these files for you. Uh, now, you don't need the exe file. You could leave it in here. It's only 274 kilobytes. We'll just delete it. Though, if you want the background music to play, you'll have to convert this .mid file into a .ogg file because this port for the Wii cannot play a MIDI. And this is not technically possible because 
a MIDI really just contains instructions essentially instead of actual audio data. So what I did is I opened up Audacity here and changed the audio host to Windows WAS API and the microphone to my speakers, but with the loopback option. This way when I play something on my computer, it just will loop back into Audacity. So then I opened up the MIDI, played it and then hit record in Audacity and it started to record the MIDI into a file that I could then export as a .ogg. So here it is playing here, and then I exported that, and then I can just drag this .ogg into the data folder, and just like that, we are good. Don't delete these two .mid files, though, because I tried to do that, and it did break the game. Uh, so just want to give you a heads up there. And let's just launch Space Cadet Pinball. And I mean, we've all played this before, I'm sure, but it's just gonna be really neat to see it running on the Nintendo Wii. So here it is. Here it is in all of its glory, guys. Oh my gosh. Now, I am playing with the GameCube controller that I have here, if you can't hear. So L and R, the two shoulder buttons control the paddles there. If you wanna play with the Wii Remote, you need to have a nunchuck. So just letting you guys know that. We're going to hold down the A button to launch the ball here, and we're going to play some pinball. You can hear the background music is, is working, so that conversion thing that I showed you how to do, not really a conversion, but we're going to call it a conversion, you know, work totally fine. Uh, this also means you can change the background music to whatever you want. You just got to put a pinball.ogg file in there, and <laughs> yeah, I already don't want to know how what what kind of shenanigans that's going to lead to but yeah i'm doing really terrible so far <laughs> so we'll just do like one more ball here maybe one more after this see if i can get some points here oh nice now, the background music volume is very low, by the way, and there's no real way to, uh, of course, there wasn't a way to change that in the, uh, in the original game. So, if you want the background music to be louder, you just have to make the volume of the actual audio file that you're exporting louder. You'll have to increase the gain. And... There is also, like, the tiniest delay. Although, maybe there isn't. That, yeah, that seems pretty responsive. It just seemed in that moment there was a slight delay. And, oh yeah, we're doing, we're doing much better this time. It's just really awesome, guys. I just love seeing stuff like this. I mean, this game is so iconic. Like I said, we've all probably played it before. And I never thought I'd see the day where somebody had successfully ported it to the Nintendo Wii. So we lost that one there. We'll do one more. Ball three. And let's see how, how far we get with this one. I don't know how uh, exciting it is to hear me narrate a, a, a pinball game, but... That's what we're doing, <laughs> so... <laughs> but... Yeah, I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, it's just, it's super cool. Like, come on, Space Cadet Pinball on the Wii, and the Nintendo Switch, and Amiga OS 4, and the PS Vita. I mean, all these other consoles. It's, it's incredible. Alright, come on. Make your way down here. Oh, there we go. Wormhole! Oh no. I mean, that is kind of a good thing. And... <laughs> I'm kind of just remembering how much time that I would spend just messing around. This is like the the peak mid-2000s, but you don't have access to the internet situation, and you just pull up, like, Pinball and Solitaire. Oh, there we go. Game over. Well... I think that was a lot of fun, guys. That was a successful video for sure. Space Cadet Pinball on the Wii. If you didn't think it was possible, well, now you know it is. And well, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. All the links will be down below. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.